Welcome to KC. Um, happened to catch you uh, having a nice little moment with Andy Reid there as he was observing the receivers, kind of gave you a little tap on the elbow there. Just kind of tell me what it's like to have that surreal moment of like, oh, this is Andy Reid, you know, coaching you and observing you and, and what he kind of told you uh, or what advice he's given you so far while he was watching you do your uh, practice routes there receiving. Man, uh, got a championship uh, head coach and coach Andy Reid. So it's always a blessing to be able to obtain knowledge from him. And, you know, he was just giving me little tips and reminding me to have fun with it uh, and just to be myself. And, you know, I've been playing football all my life. So just, you know, just go out there and have fun and, and do what I do, so. Let's go next to Sam McDowell. Go ahead, Sam. Hey, man, um, after you got drafted, we talked to, to Brett Veach and, and Reed just about your style of play. And one of the things, terms that came up was a post-up receiver. I'm wondering, do you consider yourself that type of receiver? Um, I consider myself a playmaker. Uh, I can go down the field and make plays. I can run routes um, and I can give my team a spark. So uh, I'm just here, to, just here to have fun, make plays and, and contribute to winning championships. Let's go next to Darren Smith. Go ahead, Darren. Hey, Cornell, uh, a couple questions for you. You know, you're going to be transitioning from Clemson to the Chiefs. What's it going to be like, one, being coached from uh, Dabo Sweeney to Andy Reid and then also catching passes from, from Trevor Lawrence and now Patrick Mahomes? Um, I come from a winning program, and, and this is a winning program as well. So I feel like that transition is going to be smooth. Um, I know what to expect. They expect championships, and, and that's where I'm coming from, uh, being at Clemson. And then being coached by Coach Sweeney, uh, he's a very uh, uh, God-fearing man, you know, uh, someone who believes in family, atmosphere, and all about culture. And I'm being here for these past couple of days, you know, I, I feel, feel the same vibe. Uh, it's all about culture. It's all about the little things, you know, shirt tucks in and just uh, doing all the little things. So, uh, it's going to be great, man. And and then going from Trevor to Patrick McHolmes, uh, it's just a blessing. You know, I couldn't ask for anything better. Uh, I, I fell into the perfect situation. So just going to make the most of every opportunity that I get. Let's go next to Matt Derrick. Go ahead, Matt. Hey, Cornell. Welcome to Kansas City. Um, hey, I'm curious, just yesterday, what was it like for you overall? I mean, what was your first experience on the field and kind of your review at the end of the day? Was there any moment on the practice field, a, a play that stands out to you that made, at the end of the day made you feel pretty good? Man, uh, running out there for the first time in a Chiefs uniform, a Chiefs jersey, I should say, it was like unreal, uh, kind of like a movie type, man. You know, I've been uh, wishing on this moment for my whole life and, and for it to actually like happen and, and come true. It's like, it's just crazy. Uh, you really can't describe it, but you know, at the end of the day when the whistle blew, it was, it was only football. And so, you know, the whole day just stuck out to me, man. Uh, I really feel like uh, just being here is just a blessing. And, you know, I'm ready to work, man. Looks like we got two more. We'll go Pete and then Steve. Go ahead, Pete. Hey, Cornell. Over the past years, you know, we've gotten to watch Tyree Kill go from like a college running back to one of the better receivers in the NFL. What do you look forward? To? I know it's rookie camp, but what do you look forward to in, in being able to learn from him? And have you had any interaction with him yet as far as being teammates now in the future? Um, I just look forward to uh, getting all the knowledge I can from him, all the inside scoop on all the DBs that we go against, uh, just trying to get under his wing and just learn from him, man. He's uh, one of the top top best receivers in the league so I know he got a lot to uh, tell me and uh, I'm just trying to be all ears and just trying to be a sponge and soak it all up so we'll ask Steve Walls go ahead Steve hey what's going on Cornell what's up man hey uh, you got you have the mentality uh, work always comes first how right. would that mentality um, help you you know to be successful this upcoming year it just reminds me to keep the main thing, the main thing, uh, limited distractions. I just come in and put my head down and work, man. Uh, you know, you got to start somewhere. So, you know, wherever uh, Coach Reed and the, and the, and the organization, they, they want me to be, whether it's special teams, whether it's that receiver, I'm willing to do it, man. Uh, and then the work always comes first. So just every day, you know, just put in extra overtime uh, before you, you know, check out for the day or you go do your other business. Uh, just always got to remember that, you know, this is what you work for. So I uh, continue to do that and keep scribing. So Cornell, we appreciate you taking the time, my friend. Thank you. Thank you.